Hello, Internet. My name is Roro, and welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's having a good day. Today, I wanted to talk about the biggest killer of all creativity, in my opinion, which is comfort. Now, it sounds kind of weird, because I think in some regards, you need to be comfortable, at least physically, in order to create. But let's get into what I mean. Now, I've mentioned this before, but I am very against the concept of the starving artist, where... You kind of have to struggle and not live a fulfilling good life in order to make good art. And artists are just destined or doomed to struggle for the rest of their lives. I think that is a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> Nobody wants to struggle. People want to overcome struggle. But for some reason, a lot of artists and people and people working on their, on themselves and trying to start a business or whatever... We, which is what being an artist is. If you want to make a living, you're starting a business. There's this idea that you kind of have to suffer in order to get what you're trying to get, which I suppose is true if you would prefer to just be sitting around all day and not working on something that you're passionate about. But isn't the whole thing like if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life? So if you're actively striving towards something that you genuinely want with your, all of your heart, why would you need to suffer to get that? You working on it is gratifying because it's bringing you closer to your goal. It's bringing you closer to your ultimate life that you're trying to achieve for yourself. So why would you need to suffer in order to get that? But that's from like a business mindset, from a creative mindset to kind of bounce off of that. If you want to actually grow your creative mind and try new things that br break you into new realms of creativity, you can't just do the same thing over and over again. And this is something that I am extremely, I have a habit to do this and it takes me actively thinking about it and actively trying other things to break out of it. And I really do believe that a lot of artists and creative people, this is what ultimately stops them from progressing within themselves, not even externally, just as a creative, as an artist, you kind of fall into a specific pattern that maybe is enjoyable to do. And it's something that kind of got you going, but you have to keep trying new things to make better art and to make better creative endeavors, if that makes sense. Let me give a couple examples. So I used to put out music for 11 years and it was all focused on hip hop production and then later rapping and making beats is one of my favorite things in life to do and writing songs is another one of my favorite things in life to do but with this specific project I got too comfortable in my sound and my style to the point where I stopped progressing as an artist and I think boundaries are important with creativity, like forcing yourself to use certain tools will bring something else out of you that you wouldn't expect. But restrictions, that's not necessary and is harmful to creative projects. So I sort of had this mindset where I couldn't do certain things like, oh, I can't make a song in this time signature because that's not what happens in rap music or I can't use this instrument sound in this type of beat because that's not what normally people are doing. And I was letting external boundaries restrict me from actually creating art that I was hearing and wanting to see come to reality. So while I think being physically comfortable in your home, in your workspace, that is going to get better results creatively because you're not gonna have to worry about external things. You can focus on your ideas, but creative comfort and just doing the same thing over and over, you're not going to progress as an artist, in my opinion. And this isn't even to like sell it to make money and make it a business. No, I mean like within yourself as an artist, you have to challenge yourself and you can go back to things that are comfortable, but you'll have more knowledge if you try other things so that you can kind of reframe it in a way that's even better than you could have expected. But ultimately, at the end of the day, art is art. You should make whatever you want, however you want, as long as you're enjoying yourself. If you don't want to like do anything 
besides one specific style of art, then that's what you want to do. Then this video is not for you. But this is for people that feel like they're in a rut and they want to progress. You have to just challenge yourself. You have to just try new things. Like when you're working out, there's a, something called muscle confusion where if you do the same workout over and over and over again for an extended period of time, your body kind of stops reacting to it and it just becomes normal. And then you don't physically improve. You don't physically get stronger. You have to do muscle confusion, which is changing up the exercises and doing exercises in different ways or throwing in something that you don't normally do so that your body has to kind of like wake up and be like, oh, what's going on? And then that'll kind of jumpstart you to the next level of your fitness. I think that that fully applies to creative stuff and art. I, don't, I keep saying like creative stuff. I don't really know what to call it because I'm not just talking about music. Any sort of creative artistic endeavor, you have to do some sort of like quote unquote muscle confusion every once in a while or else you're never going to grow fully to your potential. So that's all I wanted to say for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you want to join the Discord, I have that in the description. I'm streaming on Twitch every once in a while. You can check that out also in the description. And yeah, I'll see you next time.